Hey guys, and welcome to a bonus episode to wrap up the Silent Hill LP. I thought I'd show off some of the extra stuff we can do. So, this is the Alien Blaster, which we unlock via getting the secret bonus UFO ending, which we will be covering here shortly. It's... Uh, it's an interesting weapon. I'm pretty sure I used this one back in the day as a kid. Uh, I think I had like an action replay cartridge or something. And I managed to unlock it that way. And it's, yeah, it's all right. It's a, it's a bit of fun. It's just an, like an unlimited handgun, really. doesn't do a huge amount of damage. However, as we've um, said previously in the LP, you can improve its damage output by getting a better rank. And I'm still not 100% sure how the ranking system in this game works. But, you know, it's fine, I guess if not a little bit underwhelming. Talking of underwhelming, let's go get that chainsaw, shall we? Now the chainsaw is uh, kind of rubbish. <laughs> and we have to actually grab the gasoline can for it, uh, which we only get on the second playthrough. So let's go have a go with this. It's a perplexing weapon i'm going to be honest i didn't give it a whole load of time because well i just really really didn't like it it's not that great at all uh in fact i had a lot of trouble just killing a basic growler enemy with it uh in fact i'm pretty sure if memory serves he actually kills me which is fun <laughs> <laughs> it's just useless. The trouble is with it, when you push the button, the attack happens about half a second afterwards. So, yeah, yeah, not, not a big fan. And then, of course, we get the Katana, which we unlock by getting a good and a bad ending. It's weird. It's powerful. It kind of makes you float across the room so against enemies that are on the ground it's actually not that bad but if you're fighting anything that's flying at you you're gonna have a bad time again an interesting little oddity but certainly not really worth using um yeah <laughs> not a fan of this thing at all just trying to take out this guy was impossible now we actually get the other hidden weapon, the final hidden weapon, the rock drill. Now this thing is actually really useful. Not necessarily against the dogs or the flying things, but in the hospital specifically, this thing really puts out some damage. And um, especially if you're one-on-one -on -one against the nurses or doctors, they don't really have much of a chance against you. I didn't try it out on much of anything else because couldn't really be bothered, I'll be honest. I mean, the firearms work perfectly fine. And again, it makes kind of like a weird sound as well. Not really sure <laughs> what's going on with that. But yeah. It stunlocks the enemies, which is curious. And the fact that it actually stunlocks the enemies is kind of broken. It pushes them back. Now, interesting thing with the rock drill, and I'm not sure if it's the same for the chainsaw, but um, enemies will hurt themselves just walking into you. Now, let's get the UFO ending. So, on beginning your second playthrough, if you head into the convenience store, you know, the one with all the health drinks, we will be able to find the channeling stone, a mysterious stone possessing power. If used somewhere, the results will be... <gasps> so yeah, yep. <laughs> so the first place we need to use this is in the nightmare school. And we have to use it when we're on the roof, um, about to do the puzzle involving the rubber ball. So if we do it correctly, what? that light yep if we do it correctly 
we'll see some mysterious lights in the sky. However, we're not done yet. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not done yet. So we need to do this five times. So the next time we need to do it is in the nightmare hospital after you've gone back and spoken to Lisa and you've come back out into the courtyard just before you go and fight the uh, flying moth boss has to be done here. What? That light. Yep, it's almost like it's following us or something, James. And again, I've called him James. I always call him James. I don't know why. It's Harry, you fool. And anyway, third time in the Norman Hotel. Or should I say motel? But it has to be in the parking lot. You have to go um, actually under the hotel. And then use it again. Now, I don't think it has to be done in order or anything like that, but, I mean, it's kind of how the areas flow anyway, to be honest. Strange, magical lights. And then, again, we have to use it in the boat. Specifically in the cabin. On the pier. What? And this is where things start getting a little bit more ominous. Because now there's more than one of them. Oh my. I'm sure it's fine. And then the final place that we have to use this. And this will trigger the ending. We have to use it on top of the lighthouse so anyway i'm going to sign off this is the last you're going to be hearing from me we're going to see the ufo ending and then i'm going to throw the other final endings up as well just in case anybody wants to see them so anyway guys thank you very much for watching this playthrough i hope you've enjoyed it i know i certainly have and as always till next time Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here, short, black hair?
Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Well, 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 to think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. Why? Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive Suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been watching by that nightmare. Waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is now. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise.
Cheryl. Thank you, Daddy. Goodbye. Cheryl? I can't be here. I can't leave like this. This can't be happening. Cheryl? Cheryl! I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metatron was being used. Why did the lost soul return intact? Just a little longer and all would have been for naught. It's all because of that man we must be thankful to. Even though Alessa has been stopped, this little to go. What a pity. <laughs> Freeze! What in the devil's name? <clears throat> Dahlia. Well, well, well. To think we'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. That day has finally come. The time is now. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise, my daughter will be the mother of God. It's awake! Now no one can interfere! Cheryl! If that person no longer exists, this is a god descending upon us to reach out and save us! Cheryl! Thank you, Daddy. Goodbye. Cheryl? I can't be here. I can't leave like this. 
This can't be happening. Cheryl? Cheryl! To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. Why? Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse. which she never awakens. He has been wretched by that nightmare, waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is now. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise. My daughter will be the mother of God. things to how they were before. Kaufman! Did I ask for this? Nobody uses me. You won't get away with this. Your road is over. We don't need you anymore. What do 